Well, hello, my YouTube family. It's just the best day on earth. Friday was created for a person like myself, for real. So, people, it's Friday. And, yeah, as you can see, it's not a purple lip. This makeup was meant for another look this morning. Because you see the clothes behind me? Oh, I had a devil of a time looking for something to wear today. I had something to wear, but then I put the shirt on and it got, it was stained all over the place. I'm like, where the hell did these things come from? Don't have time to. So I had to desperately look for a white t-shirt and some jeans. And remember those brown pants that I was talking about yesterday? I was going to wear it with the top. And I couldn't because... So I'm just like semi-bummy, really, white t-shirt and jeans, and I just wore some sandals, and that was my look for the day. So there you have it. So no purple lip today. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie. Well, not really an oldie. I just, I've only done one lip look on it before. And it's not a combo, but I do have a topper, which is just a basically a clear gloss. So let us start with the liner, shall we? The liner is MAC. Chestnut. I haven't worn my MAC chestnut. Oh, my MAC chestnut. I haven't worn it in a while. So here it is. It is aligned. Tom is like out like a light. He's waiting for the AC to kick in because it was really hot up here. Poor thing. He has water and food. And he has two big bowls of water. So, I hope he slurped a lot. Um, okay, so liner. This was the lipstick. It's a matte, as you can see. And this is in Indie Flick. And this is Indie Flick. It's a, it comes across as more orangey, but it's really a red orange. It's really a red orange. It comes across as blatantly orange, no red whatsoever. But it's a red orange. And let me do a swatch for you. There is the swatch, of course, it comes across as very orangey. And it, it, it's, 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 I can't really say it's a flaming orange, even though it looks like a flaming orange on my lips. It's, a red orange. That's that's really how I can describe it. But the orange is more potent. It comes across more. So there you go. That is Indie Flick. And I love this shade. I love this shade. Love it. Love it. I've been wanting it for a while and I was so glad when I got it. Topped with my MAC lip glass to give it a little shine. Because it is a matte and you know how I feel about mattes. So there you go. So, um, where is it? Where is it? In my hot little hand, I'm not going. Hmm, I'm going to flip it the other way so y'all won't see nothing. This this piece of paper holds Mr. Intelligence information. Because I asked him, like I said I would, people, if I could use him as a reference. And he was like, oh, sure. And I thought he was just going to give me his, his phone number. Oh, he gave me his website and everything. So, yes. Mwah. Whoosh. There you go. That's it. That's the information. Oh. Indeed, do. Yes, I'm feeling very lucky. I, I, I'm feeling very lucky. So I hope that these two work out for me. One of them, one of them going to come through. One of them is going to come through. Mm, feeling lucky today. So that was it. That was all. Nothing else to tell you. Cutie was working. I only, I, and I saw him late 
in, well, early afternoon. I didn't even see him in the morning. You know, normally he does his good morning and like it's in the morning, but it was like 12.15 or something, 12.05 when he walked in, 12.05, 12.15, around the 12-ish hour. I was like, oh, I thought you weren't even in. And he's like, I'm very busy. I'm very busy. I said, yeah, okay. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. It is Friday. Do you understand me? Do you understand where I'm coming from? It's Friday, people. The, just the best day. Like, the weight of the entire week just slides off my shoulders. And, you know, I just... It's like the deep breath for the rest of the week. So that's really it. I have no stories for you. I'm so sorry. I haven't had any stories for you lately. Well, after one gets let go, um, there's really not much to talk about. But, yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I watched Flipping Out last night, and it's a, to be continued. I was like, oh, no, they did not leave me hanging like this. Jeff and um, Zoila got into it again. Jeff has, you know, he has a rough tongue. He really does. And Zoila is not getting any younger. They've almost got a, a son-mother, mother-son relationship, even though she's not his mother. She's his, you know, housekeeper. Um, but sometimes he has a rough tongue. And he pretty much embarrassed and embarrassed her in front of everybody that was in the office about every time she goes to pick up lunch she's always missing somebody's lunch or something is wrong with the order or whatever so she had just about had it so that day he was calling her calling her and she wasn't picking up the phone and she went to pick up the lunch but she gave it to one of the, the contract workers that is working on his house. She told him to bring bring the lunch up to the house, and she walked away. We don't know where the hell she went. So they got the lunch, and Jeff had just about, he was flipping, flipping out. He called Zoila and told her, you need to get back here really quickly. And she goes, you can go, you can go. I'll, I'll be there when I'll be there. And she, he goes, no, I can't leave the house until you're here in this house. He goes, if you don't get back in this house right now, you are fired. You can consider yourself fired. If you he really wouldn't fire her, I don't think he really would. They've been together for too long. They've been through this up and down nonsense for far too long. But he's got to understand, and I think he does understand, but he doesn't want to realize it. She is in her 60s now, and I think she's been with him since she was in her 40s, maybe. So that's a very long time to be with somebody, and she knows his quirks, and she knows his habits, and they know each other. And, you know, sometimes the lines get blurred between employee and employer. And then he just pulls rank for, like, you know, he just pulls it. When he doesn't get his way, he pulls rank. So that's when he starts with, if you don't come back here, you're going to be fired, and I mean it, and I'm dead serious, and all of this. And she's like, just go, I'll be there. And he goes, I can't leave the house. He goes, if you make me miss my plane and make me miss this appointment, you can consider yourself looking for another job. I was like, wow. So I don't know what happened, because it was to be continued. So I'm going to have to find out next week. I'm very upset. I hate when they do this to be continued nonsense. So I have to wait until next week. I know he's not going to fire her. But there was also another worker who had been working that, with them for like a year. And he was asking for like these days off all of a sudden. Come to find out he was looking for another job and he got another job. And, you know, Jeff doesn't like it when he doesn't know what's going on. He needs to know your business. He needs to know everything that's going on with you. Your business, your schedule, what you're doing. Because I guess they work seven days a week or six days a week or something. And this poor boy had, you know, he had a social date with, it's, it's almost a conflict of interest, but not quite. 
one of Jeff's client's assistants. Assistant. So, you know, they had a date or something. And he didn't want to tell Jeff about it because it's really just not Jeff's business. After hours, your life is your own. Not to Jeff. Your life is his 24-7. So that's where I have a little, I have a little, hmm, you know, my eyebrow gets raised with that with that kind of thing. Because why do I, why should you? But I guess it being with Jeff's client's assistant, it was a little, it was a little shaky. But nothing happened. They just went to the movies. Really, y'all can't go to the movies without, you know. So Jeff and Jeff, when Jeff harps on something, he like like um, his assistant. I forget what her name is. Jo, jo, jo Joanna Joan. I forget what her 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 his assistant is. Her name. He she said, you know, he's like a, a dog with a bone. When he is on something, when he's on the scent of something. He's not going to let it go until he finds out every tidbit of information. So, yeah. So they left me hanging on that show. And that was the only thing I watched last night. After that, I just I just came back inside, did some online for a couple of hours, and then I went to sleep. <sighs> oh, I did watch my tyrant, though. But I had it, I had it DVR'd. I watched that. And it's getting, it's getting rather good too. A little predictable, but at the same time, very, very good. Man of Steel was on FX, but it was against what I, what I had to watch. So I have the DVR, I'm, the DVR, the DVD. I could watch it tonight if I want to. I don't think there's anything, there's anything on tonight that I, I, I want to watch. So I'm going to catch up on stuff that I have on my DVR. And who knows, I may whip out the, the Man of Steel and then back to back it with the Batman vs. Superman. But you know what really irks me about the Batman vs. Superman movie? Is the fact that the extended edition, the, the extended edition is only on Blu-ray. So it's a whole different, because I'm catching up on tidbits on YouTube. Like they'll give you like little extras on YouTube of a scene that was cut but cut for the movie, the theatrical version, as well as the regular DVD. Now, if you have Blu-ray, you can buy the extended edition of the movie, which I feel is just so unfair. Like, why can't you have the extended edition for every format? Why does it have to be, oh, only if it's Blu-ray? So Blu-ray is super special? I don't get it. So that means I have to buy a Blu-ray in order to get the Blu-ray edition? I have a DVR. Give me the damn, the same damn format. Give me the same damn movie that the extended edition is. Because it's a whole different movie with the extended scenes in it. Things that didn't really quite click in the theatrical version and the DVD version click better in the extended version. So I'm, I'm too pissed. I'm not going to buy a Blu-ray just so I can buy the Blu-ray DVD. It's just so unfair. It really, it just really is so unfair. But it is what it is. So I just kind of try to piece things together while on YouTube. Because the, people put out the extended scenes. So I'll just put the things together. But it frustrates me at the same time. Because now I just want, it makes me want to just watch it that way. Watch it the way it was meant to be seen. So yeah. I'm bitching and moaning about that. And no, I'm not going to buy myself a Blu-ray. Because the Blu-ray is connected to a modern television, like a regular flat screen. My DVD, my, my DVD, my television is old school. So I don't have the proper plugins or whatever for a Blu-ray. It, it, it's It doesn't, you know, I'm very old school. This TV is going to be with me until it just stops. I'm not like everybody else. I, when something new comes out, I'm not the, I, I, oh, I have to get it, I have to get it. No. What's wrong with the one that you just had? If something new didn't come out, you'd still be using the one that you already have. And there's nothing wrong with it.
just like I still have a Garmin, you know, the actual Garmin. It's not attached to my car because Garmin really wasn't out when I had the car. So I still have a, you know, a, I have a navigational system, but it's an actual a materialistic thing. Now navigation systems, they're all plugged in the modern cars and you just, well, I'm old school. I can take my navigational system out with me. I can, you know, it's not attached to the car. Just because cars have, you know, navigational systems, you're going to have to get rid of the garment. Why should I get, I paid a whole hell of a lot of money for my garment. Why am I going to get rid of it? Why? Because something new came out? No. No, you use up the things, especially when it's like technical things like a television or a garment, something technical. Like to this very day, people, I do not have a laptop. I have a desktop. Old school, bulky ass desktop, yes, with, I have a flat screen monitor, but it's not a huge monitor. I think this is a 17 inch. Mine isn't a 22 or, a, you know, I, why? This monitor works just fine. It's been working fine ever since I was living on my own in 2004. That's how long this, mon that's how old this monitor is. Still works just fine. It's as clear and crisp as can be. I don't need a new one. You see what I mean? Like, I don't need a de a, 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 a uh, laptop. Sure, it would be great to have a laptop, but you know why I don't want to buy a laptop? Because it would make me lazy as hell. I, I could say lazy as hell. But lazy as hell, if I brought the laptop in the living room, I would never get up. Ever. Because I have everything. I have the television in front of me. I have the laptop. I would be a thousand pounds, and I'm big enough as it is. So I keep have I keep buying desktops, so I know that I if I want to come back into the bedroom to do something on the computer, I have to physically get my fat ass up from the sofa and walk in here. It's a form of exercise. Kind of crazy. Yes, I know, but it's movement. I don't want to blend into the sofa. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not of the newest generation. Like, like, this is my phone, people. Old school. It's a Samsung. It's old. It's an evergreen. Does anybody even remember what an evergreen looked like? Well, this is it. I don't have an iPhone. Never had an iPhone. That works just fine. Sure. It can definitely be upgraded, and I will be upgrading it when I'm ready. I'm not ready right now. I've got other things more important than upgrading my phone. I don't do Pokemon 1. I, you know, looking for Pikachu everywhere. I don't need that. I, mm, I'm not of this generation. I'm of a generation long gone. Do I still want to remain current? Of course I do. But remaining current costs. And if I don't need it, if it's not an exact emergency, why? What I am going to focus on, like, for instance, my next paycheck next week, I need some new glasses. Sure, I can focus on getting a phone. Glasses first. In order to see the phone, I need to see. Period. So I need to get my eyes checked. I need to get a new pair of glasses. That is what I'm going to be focusing on. It's a whole generational age difference thing. The only time I, 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 I just crumble is when it comes to cosmetics, as you well know. Lipsticks, lip glosses. I crumble on that. That's, that's my kryptonite, okay? That's my kryptonite. Like, for real, for real. That's my kryptonite. I don't know. I just went off on a tangent there. So that's it. That's all. I still may watch my Man of Steel and my Batman vs. Superman anyway. Okay? So it is what it is, people. I have nothing else to talk to you about. I am loving my lips. Love this look. Like I said, it's more orangey on the screen. It's really not that orangey up close and personal.
and even though it's a matte lipstick, a nice little touch of matte lip glass gives it the shine that it has. We like it. Okay, so that's just that with that upon that. You know I love you. You know I love my YouTube family. I want everybody to have a safe and happy and wonderful weekend. You know what Nancy's going to do, right? R and R, honey. R and R. Okay? So, that's what I'm going to do. How many of you are proud of me getting Mr. Intelligence information? I know I'm damn proud of my own damn self. Yes, indeed he do, honey. And he went, he went the extra mile and gave me his website. I was like, and we checked to see if it was online because he said it could be live now. But it's still under construction. So, oh well. I'll be checking off on him and I'll be posting and keeping in touch and all of that. So, that's it. That's all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'm liking the whole look today. Oh, you know. The blush? Let me let y'all know what the blush is. Oh, it's the blush I was talking about yesterday. The My one Illamasqua, this is it. The name of the blush is called Excite. It looks orangey as well, but it's more, it's a more hot coral, if you could, if that makes any sort of sense. I wish I could hit, oh, here, here it is. It, see, here, Face front, it's like blatant orange, but if I tip it ever so, like right there, that's really the color of it. Right there. That's the color of it. Gorgeous. Loving it. Loving it. So, this was my one Illamasqua purchase. That's why I can't get no ESP because, you know, the lipstick ESP. As much as I want that lipstick. Too damn much money, people. Illamasqua. Hello. Anyway, so there it is. I showed you the Illamasqua. I spoke about the brown pants that I was supposed to wear that I did not end up wearing. I'm wearing jeans instead. That's the reason why you see this madness back here. Yeah. Mr. Man is on the floor. Chilling. And uh, it's Friday. I am going to change into my summer comfy cozies and just max and relax. M and R, people. Max and relax. So there you have it. Now I'm done. I think I've told you everything I needed to tell you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, the powder. I know I, know I list everything downstairs, but I like to show you anyway. My Laura Geller. Uh, Balance and Brighten Foundation and Deep. I love this powder so much. Oh my goodness, this is like I oh I always blame him every time I wear this because it's his it's his fault that I bought it. Uh, Wayne Goss Goss makeup. Wayne, he's the one that made me buy this because he was talking about Laura Geller's Balance and Brighten powders. They leave a certain a subtle sheen, and they really do. They sort of leave a subtle sheen on your face. And you know me, I'm all about the glow, the sheen. I don't need to look greasy, but I need to look glowy. Difference. So there you have it. Oh, and while we're on face stuff, I will show you what I'm using as a highlighter. It's it's really this one right here, but you can I, I would rather show it to you up close and personal. Highlighter. It's really a blush, but these are these are too damn loud to be blushes. This one right here. This orange one right here. Because everything was really in the orange family. So that one right there. It comes out rather light, but it's it's a shimmery. It's a shimmery light. So that one. I really wish they had names, but they don't. So that's the magic happening here, and that's the magic happening here. 
and now I'm getting ready to go. Okay, don't 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 push me out, people. I know, I know. It means he can talk. It means he can talk. Now I'm going. You know I love you. Have a safe and wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Mwah. Bye now.